Good morning, everybody. So it's been a really, really busy couple months, and um, I wanted to do a quick vlog. We'll see if I practice what I preach, right, Heather? Um, but uh, my friend Julie from the United Kingdom was kind enough to send me some royal wedding souvenirs. I had asked her if she'd be willing to possibly do a trade. Um, I said that I was willing to send her, you know, anything from the States that she couldn't get in exchange for some royal wedding souvenirs. And she was really excited because her daughter, Jenny, hi, Jenny, um, loves Build-A-Bear. And apparently there are certain stuffed animals at Build-A-Bear that folks in the United Kingdom cannot get um, well, they could get it from our online site, I guess, probably, but it was it would probably be too expensive to ship. So anyway, um, we went ahead and, and arranged for the trade, and I sent Jenny her two giraffe Build-A-Bear stuffed animals, and then I sent her and Julie some candy and a couple magazines, I think that's all, but um, so Julie, in the middle of all my book stuff in the last couple weeks, uh, Julie sent me this package, and I just wanted to show you quickly um, one of the, some of the things that she sent me at first this very stylish hat which I will not put on because I just did my hair I'll pretend probably won't wear it very often I'm trying to figure out where I would wear it um, it is a military hat so if I am doing combat somewhere I will wear it but that's that and then um, a bank which it got a little dented on the way but that's okay but look, there they are, the happy couple. Um, then a commemorative porcelain plate. I love how it's the same exact picture on everything. Then a keychain. That way I can carry them with me always. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite things. It's a tea towel. Look, there he is. There she is. Pretty cool, right? So I thought it was a flag at first, but it's it's a tea towel. It's a little bit slippery to be a towel. I'm not going to use it anyway. I'm going to put it with all my Diana souvenirs, which you may remember me displaying for you on another vlog. If you search on Suburban Scrawl for the post that's called the one where I lay all my cards on the table or something like that. Um, oh, this caused a huge uproar and conversation. Clotted cream. It's the official royal wedding clotted cream fudge. My sister and my older son were going on and on about what is clotted cream because to us Americans, clotted cream sounds disgusting, but I do believe that it is something that British people love. Um, and I don't know. It's, you know, it's fudge. It looks like fudge to me. But anyway, this is something that will have to be opened and we're going to, we'll have to do a taste test or something. Um, and then let's see, she sent me some um, maps and brochures for some things that are in her area where she lives. She lives in a, I think a small country town, but don't worry. I'm getting to it. Look at this. This is very exciting. The British OK. I know we have OK now in America, but this is the British version. So it's probably better, I'm going to guess. Probably just as much gossip. The official bumper collector's issue. I don't know what the bumper means. Oh, and there's a free wedding DVD for every reader. <laughs> and then um, it looks like Women's Own magazine with 10 big bonus pages about the royal wedding. Then... One moment. Okay. So this is pretty cool. It's a good thing that this package did not catch on fire because it would it would be it would have made everything go up in smoke. But look at this. Front page, the royal wedding. A souvenir album for William and Catherine Their New Life. Um, and then some various just a few, just a few newspapers. And the thing that I'm most excited about, I picked this out on British eBay. Paper dolls. Not to play with, but I think paper dolls of any kind are so cool. My sister and I have a book of paper dolls um, that are, they're Gilda Radner paper dolls. Um, but these are really, look at, 
Isn't that funny? And then look, I bet, I bet her engagement dress is in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. So, whoops, there we go. See? So anyway, love books of paper dolls. I just think they're so adorable. So thank you so much, Julie. Oh, one more thing. This is the best part. So her card says... If you want souvenirs, other things, but then it says, if you want souvenirs of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee next year sent over, just let me know. Yes, I do, of course. So Jenny, um, when it comes time, go ahead and look at Build-A-Bear and see what I can send you. <laughs> we'll do another trade. So thank you so much to Julie and Jenny. And then um, I also got something really cool from my friend Sue as Cape Cod turns, and I'm going to need a flashlight to show you. Um, she sent me... Look at this. It's the queen, of course, with her purse, but it's not just any statue of the queen. Look at this. Oh, did you see her hand? If you expose her purse to sunlight or a flashlight, as I've found out, look at her hand. She waves. Is that not the coolest thing? So I have it on my um, windowsill by my kitchen sink. So when I do dishes at night, she waves at me. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, thank you so much, Sue. And oh, I don't have it in front of me, but her daughter made such an adorable duct tape rose for me. So thank her for me. And that's it for today. I think that's enough. Six and a half minutes. Heather's going to be making fun of me for talking too long, but I also have to get to work. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.